Cause this bitch will lie down Said she want that pipe Man, she's getting piped down Show this what you want She said nigga right now Life is too short to be waiting around Let's go ladies and gentlemen We have Eminem today man We have Eminem doing White America man This is one of my favorite songs by him And uh, the title already says What he's gonna be talking about White America So if you know, you know uh, let's go ahead and get a disclaimer. I'm going to get a disclaimer. I already know you guys watched the disclaimer in the beginning. We're going to get a big of a disclaimer again. The disclaimer, man, this is the old Eminem, old Eminem, and he, he was younger, and uh, he had a lot of things to say, he had a lot of things to say, and he felt what he wanted to say was real, and he did it. He's able to do it. He's able to say it. But this is not the Eminem of today, probably. He doesn't think this way probably today. He maybe do, maybe he don't. I probably do, maybe I don't. Whatever. But at the end of the day, let's get directly in to the video, man. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment, hit and the bell. Let us know what you're going to see. So do. Let's get it. Ain't that's today's time? Ain't this today's time? You got a bunch of white folks, a bunch of people in the background, like no name, faces, just watching the police officers beat and shoot the black arm, black unarmed male. I mean, he's black on the ground, right? Right. This is just like today. You see that a lot today. You see that a lot in traffic stops. You see that a lot on the news, man. And uh, not, not to make this shit racist or, or race religion or drap, but it feels like something that happens today. He was doing this back then, so he was saying this shit back then. So yeah, yeah it's been like that for a while. But I just wanted to point that out to you. I mean, a little bit, but I, I get what you're saying, but yeah, in a little, in a way, yeah. Uh, you know what that is, guys, it's Uncle Sam, bitch ass, the government, of course. Um, and this is basically, uh, this is basically a newspaper article talking about Shady and uh, the root of all evil. He says Shady is the root of all evil in the, talking about Slim Shady, him, um, I'll kill you. Uh, and it looks like it, it looks like the picture of Trump a little bit, a little bit. It looked like, some, but I know who this is. It's Uncle Sam, but this is like Trump a little bit. That's crazy. <laughs> I was 
fight. No, it was born in the sun. He almost gave up. I was like, kill him till I met Drake. The only one who would pass gave me a chance, and I lit a fire up oh, under his head. Don't you get back to the top. Everything. He's talking some shit, man. He said nobody when he was underground. Nobody gave the fuck about what he was saying. They didn't care that he was calling people bitches. They didn't give a fuck that he was calling bitches bitches, bitches. He didn't give, they didn't give a fuck about none of the shit he was saying. But now that he's mainstream, now they want to stop him. Now he, he got to be stopped at all costs. They want to cancel him and all that other dumb shit. But because he's white, though, but if he was black saying the same shit, it would be, it would be cool. It would be cool. Right? But because he's black, he's not white. I mean, he's not black and he's white. <laughs> Saying the shit, yes, oh, we gotta stop at all costs. And that's what he's talking about in this shit, too. So I just wanted to point that out, man. You gotta, the bars, man. I can't even concentrate on the bars because I gotta educate you, some of the motherfuckers was in the back who have not learned or don't know about Eminem. So I can't really catch the bars, but he got a lot of bars as well. But we just gonna back it up just a little bit, and y'all know who that is, man. <laughs> These niggas mad. These niggas mad that he in that boot. This nigga shit went hard in the club. And if you don't understand what he was saying in the song, he was saying white America gets away with a lot of shit. And because he's rapping and now white America is being affected, meaning the white kids in the suburban, they're doing the same shit that he's saying in the videos. Now he needs to be stopped. But when the black people in the black community was doing the same shit he was doing in the community, what he was saying, it wasn't a problem. That's what he was trying to say. 
it's a problem now that the white people in the communities are saying that our child is doing the same shit. Them and them telling them, like, yeah. And they feel like it's a problem with your child. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's all he was. He was saying, and um, if you if you don't see how they got his hands, they don't even hold. They're not even holding his hands. They holding his wrist. Because they forcing him to be there and stand there. They holding his wrist. And that's another play on that the fam, the white family are fighting. You're getting a high rate of divorce. She's fighting over his love. He's fighting over his love. They pulling him like a tug of war. This graphic is so impactful. And you can look at it and you can see it that the child is so confused. Look at his eyes. He's like, I don't know what to do. He, he don't know what to do. He don't know what to do. He's not even really smiling. They smiling, but he's not really, really smiling because the community is fucked up, man. I, it's a lot, man. And a lot of people were saying it's because of Eminem, but it was like that way before Eminem got in the game. But, man, they show you... But, yeah, man, I love the fact that he did this, and it was one of my most famous videos that he ever done, man, and I love it. So, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share, and let us know what you want us to get in the season. Do, Diddy, pranks, and peace.